Okay, basically I've just been uh, wandering around trying to work out what what I've missed, but what I'm going to do is go out to the main map that you can reach with um, Gabriel's car. And what we can do there is hit this hint button and it says we still have stuff left for these places. We shouldn't have anything left here. I must have missed something. Anyway, I'm going to pause and work out what it is and we'll be right back. Alright, it looks like I found what we were missing. Basically, underneath the big painting, there was this little cabinet here. Cabinet here. December 14th, 1881, Linderhof. Order another work by Jennings on the occult. Write urgently to Klug, saying that I insist that the stoppages by the bank cease. I want it, and therefore it must be done. Mm -hmm. Write very urgently. He must succeed at once, and then must report to me urgently. If I give orders to clear my room, doing so must not be postponed as it happened. Pencils must be pointed without special orders. The day after tomorrow, a thousand marks. How is Louis now? I want to know whether he looks unhappy. How often have I said that the coffee must not come up boiling hot, so that it can only be drunk after standing an hour? If any more correspondence come from Louis, they are to be burnt immediately. But I am to be informed of their arrival. Hmm. Interesting. These are actual notes from Ludwig to his servants. They go far in showing the king's state of mind. They were smuggled out and used as evidence in compiling the order for Ludwig's arrest. Interesting. This say? December 18th, 1881, Linderhof. Every day get up earlier, for certain. See to that very particularly. Write it down. Remember that when the great friend arrives at Neuschwanstein, we retire to the hall. We are not to be disturbed. I will not tolerate interference or insubordination. Interesting. He sounds very, uh, hot-headed about that. I think that should be it. So if we actually leave here now... If we hit hint... Yes! Alright, so... Now it should work. Hey, Gerda. Hi, Gerda. I'm back. Good. That's it? Okay. Talk to her. I don't have anything to ask Gerda right now. Oh, you little cow. <sighs> Alright. Let's try this again. Alright, we're gonna have to see if we can do anything else. It's at the place at um Wagner's museum if we miss something hey Georg oh wolf panels at, at there have you ever heard about the wolf panels in the singers hall at Neuschwanstein thank you for saying it for me did my brother send you here uh no <laughs> no <laughs> probably not it's only the letter to the conductor, the wolf panel. Oh, my brother thinks I am crazy because of all my theories. What theories? Tell me, tell me more. <sighs> this is crutch. If there was a lost opera, a lost Wagner opera, and if one could find it to a conductor, this would be like finding King Tut's tomb. <laughs> but. People have looked for it before. If it ever existed, it is gone forever. <laughs> my brother says I waste my time even thinking about it. Why do I have a feeling it's in that desk that is exactly the same way as the day he died? Tell me about the Lost Opera. I'm curious. Is there any other information that points to the Lost Opera besides Ludwig's letter and the wolf panels? Speak to with Georg. <laughs> I'm not even supposed to have seen it. Ooh, tell me, Georg. You see, my brother says that Wagner was too egotistical to have produced a lost opera. If he was working on something new, every person in Bayreuth would have heard about it. On the other hand, it was in Ludwig's character to have wanted a private opera. But it wouldn't have been private. 
Ludwig's letter shows he intended it to be played in Munich. Yes, but that it would get so far without Wagner telling others? Why keep it a secret? Fervor. Maybe there was a very I mean, good um, reason for secrecy. Mm -hmm. That's like my answer to everything. For Fervor. example? Like... Like, Ludwig was a, was a werewolf and, um... He, he liked to hear the music. Okay, let's try. Hint. No, still more things to do, but let, let's try stopping off the Goethe anyway. Goethe, please. Hi. You just had a phone call. Yes! It was Frau Gelder at the post office. She said a fax came in for you there. Really? I wonder what it was. Maybe it's from Gabriel. Don't hold your breath. <laughs> <laughs> We won't, but let's go see the lady. So let's put our jacket on yet again. Sorry, I got caught up with that music. To the post office. Ring the bell. Hello, Frau Gelde. Haben Sie etwas für mich? Ja, ein Fax. Ein sehr langes Fax. It's a fax. Amazing. This is aber nicht vom Schattenjäger. Wow! Well, okay. See through! Thomas Chapel. He changed oh. his mind. She didn't say goodbye, the bitch. Sorry, that would be what she was saying about Grace. Uh, oh, hang on. Miss Nakamura, it occurs that I've had a change of heart. Please keep these in the strictest of confidence. Good luck on your endeavor, T. Chapel. 11th June, 1872. Louis has convinced me to think matters through more thoroughly before I act. A trip it shall be then, to Shahin. It shall not alter my purpose, I feel, nor shall his compelling. The treaty is the ruin of my beloved Bavaria, and must be taken to task. Interesting. 3rd July, 1872. The pain gets so bad, I cannot hold a pen to write, but the horror is far worse than the pain. He says it was an accident, says that we can truly be one now, uh. that it is a great adventure. I believe him one minute and the next I can feel the flames of hell upon my heels. May God have mercy on my soul. Interesting. 5th January 1874. By the power of Mary, Mother of God, I swear to refrain from the ultimate sin and to remain steadfast in my flesh, sworn by the power of the lily. Eleanor. Hmm. 30th August 1879. I will not falter, but will remain true. No matter the torment or longing, I will not yield. I will control the process. God grant me strength and will. By the grace and power of the monarchy and its allegiance. De Polaroy. Eleanor. Hmm. 10th September 1880. It is all finished. Elizabeth warned me, and I discovered the truth at last. O oh, most venomous viper at my very bosom! O oh, lowest of the least worthy who ever breathed! My Judas, my devil! If I could tear my heart out and fling it after him in the dirt, I would, I would! Entering. 12th December, 1880. He continues to come, the devil. I will never look upon his hideous face again. He is afraid I will tell, and I might. I might. To destroy him, I might. When I think of the accident, now that things are clear, I wonder, was it truly an accident, or was it the plot to kill me? Hmm. If so, why did he not complete it then, instead of putting me in this torment? Could he have hated me so? I wish to God he had simply ended it there. Hmm. Actually, I think we'll cut the episode here before we run out of time. So, see you in the next video. Bye.